you just clicked on a little Reese video. Little Reese situation is more deeper than what you think, bro. It's even deeper than what we were reporting earlier and all that. Now that I got time to look at the whole table. Now, let me explain to you what at first what they said is being reported. They're saying that it was a 55 year old father who used a tracking de device on his son stolen the Rango and he followed them. To me, I don't I don't believe none of that. And it's more deeper than that, but I'm gonna tell you what really happened. Number one, that's that's agent slash informant talk, bro. That's what that is, bro. And we in football season. I, I've been teaching my son how to play catch. This is informant situations going on, bro, and deeper undercover agent activities, educational purpose. You're in Chicago, bro. I keep telling y'all this is more than a stolen vehicle, and y'all don't want to believe that. Y'all don't want to believe this is way deeper, bro, than I went to go buy weed and the vehicle is stolen. Come on, y'all. Y'all wake up. When shots being exchanged like that, I can't go deep and tell you why the cops are involved in all that, but I can tell you it was something that went left that I know y'all, but we all know that already, blessed one. But I'm talking about something that they're doing that we thought for the longest. We all know these agents are dropping weapons in chicago we all know about the train crates that see y'all heard about that around a couple of years ago but when we were growing up as young as it was in movies and stuff you seen crates with weapons and all that in the movies subliminally they were telling me that since i was nine years old in chicago in the hood in general they dropping weapons and all that to let the propaganda go on bro i, I started paying attention bro they want you to believe what you see in there how you know little reese and them and the victims, they know what's really going on and they're probably not, not nothing disrespectful. It got them shook because these people are a deep entity. So it got Reese and them shook to the point, man, none of y'all know who these people really is. We do and y'all wouldn't even believe us. So we can't even tell y'all the truth or not just us might be stained. Our family might be stained. So you gotta watch what you do. Yeah, bro, it gets deep, bro. I be watching the eyes. Look, watch Lil Reese I, not the one where it appears that he's knocked out or whatever or passed out. Because allegedly, Reese said he wasn't knocked out. He said he was passed out. I'm going to take him for his word. You know what I mean? He ain't been proven to be a liar yet. I'm going to take him for his word. He said when he got the shot hit him, it made him pass out. Most people that happen, so I've seen people get shot several times in front of me. I haven't seen accident, accidental discharge in the weapons. And I seen people just right there drop. The, weapon, the, the, the wound wasn't even that big. Or not even really that painful because yeah i've been hit before so and yet they pass out because it's like damn i got hit i don't know why he passed out but when i look at the whole situation entirely bro it's something deeper that nobody can talk about i'm talking about co and tell bro co and tell go google what co and tell is i can't go deeper because i'm trying to follow youtube policies and guidelines little reese seen a ghost and everybody involved and nobody's gonna talk. You seen the paperwork. They gave little information. Now, little Reese did talk, but even the information he gave is BS. He said he went to go buy weed from the people. Y'all might say he's telling on the people. I don't believe nobody was selling weed. And I believe he said anything, because even if little Reese said he went to go buy weed from the people, now folks in them and the, the prosecutors got to prove that those people had weed on them and were selling. It don't matter if I say I went to go buy weed from this person. Now the state got to prove this person had weed and actually was selling it. So maybe Lil Reese said anything to throw them off their scent because it's bigger than even the police department. I think this is way bigger than Chicago PD. This ain't no Chicago PD thing, bro. It's COINTEL, bro. Like, think, bro. Like, look at Chicago. It's the most perfect place. And then now Jacksonville, they're doing it in and a lot of other places too. They're doing it in Brooklyn. They're doing it in, in Dallas and in Fort Worth, AKA it's almost the same thing, but Houston, they're doing it all, all these states, bro. Think about it. When they know who, like when they know there's a big war going on between rival hoods and neighborhoods, and they know potentially these people, if they get out of hand, it's money through the judicial system and arrest, violence and all that. Violence bring money and the pain and suffering and extermination educational purpose for a particular group of people. You're gonna enhance it. How do you enhance it? You pretend you this other neighborhood's op late night or even broad daylight in the afternoon cause you're masked on. Remember? The whole time you masked up. How they know who you are? How you know I'm the ops all the time? 
I'm masked up. I'm masked up, Jack. And I'm not saying that ops ain't killing ops, educational purpose and all that. We know what's going on. I'm just saying the other part of it. The one that keeps adding the fuel to the fire. I ain't done. We already seen the CIA paperwork. Nobody talks about NSA and we can even go deeper than that. All the other agencies around the world, nobody goes deep on that. Certain paperwork we already know that was released. That I already produced. This is what they do. They destabilize communities and even nations, third world countries. And what makes you think they are? Bro, your ghetto neighborhoods are another country inside a country. Facts, bro. Your neighborhood is a country inside a country. That's facts. Look at it. It got its own economy. Tell me if I'm lying. No matter how many good suburb neighborhoods I lived in, I always end up every day in the hood because I get the most discounts over there, the most hookups. I can't say it on YouTube. Y'all know what hookups are. We all get hookups in the neighborhoods. Where you go, I see rich people go in the hoods for the hookups. Factual. You get the best of the best in the neighborhood. It got its own economy, its own structure, own entertainment industry, own drug, pharmaceutical industries, everything, own daycare center. Everybody, their mama is a daycare worker operate it got everything you need everybody in them mama dukes in them you know what i'm saying they cooking food and selling it you got industries and business everywhere you got the candy lady you got everything man come on man you got neighborhood teams of basketballs and all that you got everything you need it's a community bro and you destabilize that you see little reesey staying out the way Loving his beautiful mama and his mama is beautiful. I'm saying that respectfully. I'm going to keep saying that. I'm astonished how young and beautiful his mama is. You know, he's staying out the way, trying to live his best life. I ain't acting like Lil Reese is innocent. But he's trying to live his best life. You know what I mean? Just trying to go from A to B. That brings a problem for those in charge. Oh, yeah? The numbers ain't up today. The quotas ain't up. Oh, they ain't these little these little knee grumps ain't killing each other today. Okay. We need to turn it up a notch. So we can get it where they automatically kill each other and continue it. So I I would never say we ain't killing each other, but what continues it? The cheat code. You know, they mass up and they pretend like they one of your enemies and they go where you at and they kill you. They kill the ones you love and act like it was your ops and they do something deliberate to make you think it's your ops too. They don't just let you have to guess and make. They do something to make you know it's your ops. And that just caused another. Every time they do that, it adds another 20 years and another 20 years and another 20 years to the point you can't count no more, bruh. Look how many neighborhoods they did that with, bro. To the point you can't count no more, gang. That's deep, I know. Hit that like button if you believe it's deep. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. Come rock with us, bro. I don't hide from what I feel in my bones, bro. Yeah, I know. I know it's deep, right? And get your mind somewhere else, bro. It's deep. It's deep. I ain't the one who put it there, bro. Life made it happen like that, and it's deep, man. Love your family, man. Love your kids, and stay blessed, gang. You better come back.